So Logan Paul's back in the spotlight, this time for allegedly pushing his dog into a lake to stage a rescue. Oh, oh no, please, oh no. Broly! I'm going in, I'm going in, come here buddy. Bro, what the fuck? I haven't been scared Why? like this in a while. Oh. I can't have you doing that. No more of that, okay? We're in the middle of a lake. You're used to swimming in a pool in Encino. Now, some people are claiming he was clearly pushed, some are claiming he wasn't, and some just think he was encouraged to jump off the boat. Oh, I don't think it was shoved, but it looked like it was maybe encouraged to jump in the river so the, the rescue I would, could be I made. would agree with you there. But and I know this is gonna sound weird, I don't think we actually need to know the answer to that question to know if we should forgive him or not. Hang with me, I'll make it make sense. That doesn't make any sense! But to do that, we have to look at the comments, not the video. That's fing animal abuse, what the f That guy has always been a piece of sh It could have been hit by the propeller. That poor dog must have felt so betrayed. He is absolutely disgusting. And acts like an asshole. Why is anyone surprised? I hope he gets arrested for animal cruelty. This is so disgusting and so sad. Holy shit, I hate this motherfucker. Now here's the thing. I looked at these profiles and most of them aren't vegan, meaning that pretty much every day, these very same people who are calling him an asshole, a piece of human garbage, are paying for way worse things to happen to animals. Animals that are just as smart, if not smarter than dogs. They're one of the most intelligent animals on the planet. They're smarter than dogs, most three-year-olds, and Tom Sandoval. And I'm guessing that most of these people don't think that they're human garbage or that they should go to jail for animal abuse. But why not? The animals we commonly confine, kill, and exploit are very clearly sentient, meaning there's something it's like to be them. They can feel pain and pleasure, they can feel fear and relief, and they can be traumatized. And if you're familiar with the details of animal farming, you'll know they're treated way worse than that dog was. Now, I know you have objections. You might think, well, dogs were specifically bred to be companions, or we don't need to eat dogs to survive, or we've co-evolved with dogs for millennia, meaning we have a very special bond with them. And I'll address those in a second. But first, let's talk about what actually happens to animals. Standard and common practice for pigs involves cutting off their tails and teeth, ripping off their testicles, and putting them into gas chambers. And yes, they're all done without painkillers. And yes, this even happens on your smallest, most local family farm, which I did a whole video about. So kind of a barbaric process, but unfortunately that is the process and it's been the process and there is no, there is no better process. There is no better process. There is no better process. Um, so that's pig farming. And similarly, horrific things happen to cows, chickens, and fish. All right, but let's get to those objections. Dogs were specifically bred to be companions and pigs were specifically bred to be food. So it seems like what we're saying is that if a sentient being was bred for a certain purpose, it's totally okay to use them for that purpose. But this can't be right. Would these people be okay with someone having sex with a pig as long as the pig was bred for that purpose? Sex with a pig. Would they be okay with eating a dog if the dog was bred for that purpose? Great tasting dog is simple. We care. Elwood dog meat. We're a family farm. Like, what if you found out that Logan Paul's dog was bred to be thrown off a boat into a propeller? Would you say, okay, no big deal? This would also imply that it would be okay to enslave humans as long as we bred them for that. Oh, sorry, what's that? Oh, we, we did breed them for that? Oh, okay, and we did use a lot of the same excuses? Cool, cool. All right, but you don't need to eat dogs to survive. Totally true. But you also don't need to eat any of these guys to survive either. And you definitely don't need to wear leather belts or go to SeaWorld to survive. Multiple dietetic associations have said that vegan diets can be healthy. But if you prefer anecdotes, here's a bunch of very unhealthy vegans. So demure, so malnourished. But probably even more important than that is the health of the environment. And here, animal-based diets are bad, like real bad. It doesn't really matter how healthy you are if you're incinerated in a wildfire or washed away by a hurricane. You ever been in a storm like that, Wally? Project Drawdown, whose mission is to help the world stop climate change, consistently lists plant-rich diets as one of their top solutions, above even wind and solar power. All right, but we've evolved with dogs for millennia, causing us to form a special bond with them. So what? If these people found out that Logan Paul didn't have a special bond with his dog or dogs in general, would these people say, okay, no problem, push away, Paul? Do we only have to treat others well if we have a special bond with them? I don't have a special bond with Logan Paul. Does that mean I can kill him and wear his skin? Does that mean I can push him off a boat? Actually, no. 
No, that would be wrong. And the reason all these things seem obvious in the human and dog case is because we see humans as individuals, not objects. And it seems like we're almost there with dogs too. It doesn't matter if a pig was bred for food or they didn't evolve with us or we can extract nutrition from them. The reason it's messed up to torture, exploit, and kill them is because they're individuals with their own preferences, their own desires, and their own ability to feel pain and fear. It matters what happens to them because it matters to them. So should we forgive Logan Paul? Well, I think we either gotta forgive him or recognize what we pay for every day is magnitudes worse. Either it's okay to exploit and abuse dogs or it's time to go vegan. Here's a resource to help. And if you wanna help me make this my full-time career, check out the Patreon in the description. And shout out to Ryan O'Neill, Tom Eisenbeis, Nutbase News, Monstar, David Yastrzemski, and Maxwell Edison.